We're going to teach you today about lighting ratios. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slant Lens, we're going to look at lighting ratios. We've got Lauren Parkinson here with us. She's fabulous. She's beautiful. We're going to do some shots for her face in different ratios of lighting. What does that all mean? A one-to-one -one ratio just simply means that the highlight and the shadow are equally exposed. So a one-to-one -one ratio is pretty much flat. There is no shadow with a one-to-one -one ratio. A two-to-one ratio simply means that your highlight side is one stop brighter than your shadow side. Because photography is done in divisions of two, when you go up one stop, it goes from two to one to four to one. A four to one ratio means that the shadow side is two stops darker than the highlight side. An eight to one ratio is that your highlight side is three stops brighter than the shadow side. Why do we need to know that? What does that mean? It's so much quicker to work when you're using a light meter and I use the Illuminati meters just because it's just simple because I can put two or three of them up and very quickly I can move from one ratio to the next by looking at the different meters in the set. Compared to an $1,800 or $1,500 or $3,000 light meter, color meter, $300 is very cheap. So let's talk about the proper way to use a light meter. And in our case, two light meters with the Illuminati. We're going to place one meter on the highlight or the key light side of the image. I'm going to get that as close as I can to the subject matter so it's just out of the frame. And I'm going to turn it just slightly towards the key light because I want it to primarily just read the light that's going to fall on the subject from the key light. Then I'm going to take a meter and I'm going to place it on the left hand side. I'm going to get it into the shadows. I want to get it in a position where it will look and see the camera, but it will not see any of the key light. I want to just get a true shadow reading. So I'm going to just put it behind her a little bit and a little bit down and that's going to give me a place for me to get my shadow reading. Now as you bring a fill card in, or as you, in my case you have a light that's behind the camera that's going to open up the shadows, as you change that light you'll be able to get a reading in the shadow area and it'll tell you what your ratio is as it gets brighter or darker. That shadow reading is going to be the constant. When you get to where you are getting a one-to-one -one ratioing, the reality is it brings the entire exposure up just a little bit. You've added a second light and you'll probably have to stop down about a stop in order to see that one-to-one, -one, which is exactly what we did. These are instant light meters, which means they're taking an overall exposure of the light falling on the subject. So you've got to point them towards the camera. I do point mine slightly towards the key light because I want to favor that. Primarily, I want them aiming towards the camera so I get the light that's falling on them and gives me a proper reading. When I put a light meter in front of a person's face and take an instant reading, it sees the, the highlight and the shadow side at the same time. It's seen both of those. And that's why I turn mine slightly towards the key light to give me a, a slight key light reading because when I put the meter in the shadows, it's entirely the shadows and I'm getting just the shadow reading. The nice thing about the Illuminati is I have two of those meters on the set at once, which means at my phone I can see the highlight and the shadow side at the same time. I can see my exposure change from the flash or in an ambient situation, I can see it as the ambient changes from my highlight to my shadow side. Using ratios is an important way to work because it allows you to decide ahead of time what you want your image to look like and create the image that you have in your mind and not just stumble into something. That way you can say, you know what, I'm going to use this as a black and white shot. I'm on this wedding. I'm going to make this ratio a little heavier here because that's going to be a beautiful black and white. And you get your shots and then you move on to the next one. I'm going to bring my ratios up a little bit here because I want this to be the beautiful moment where the bride and the, and the groom are kissing for the first time and I want this to be really bright and airy. So you start making those decisions based on the ratio of the light you're going to use in the set. You can pre-visualize that, execute it quickly, and have those in the end get exactly what you want. It's also important to understand that when you're creating ratios is that everything around you is starting to create a fill light. Right here in this room, we've got a white ceiling, we've got a white wall, actually a yellow wall, which is even worse. So we've got different walls here. So all we could do is put a black up to kill all the other bounce in the room so that we now have complete control of the shadow light. So it's important to understand that you've got to control the surfaces around your subject matter. It's really important to understand about ratios is that there is no correct answer here. I've seen some very beautiful portraits done of the CEO of Coca-Cola with a very strong light, much darker than you would usually see, but it worked for him. They turned it into black and white. A flat ratio of one to one looks terrible in black and white. A heavier ratio of four to one or eight to one works fabulous in black and white. It helps bring out the texture and the depth of the image. It, it looks better when it's not so flat. Understanding ratios and how you're going to use them in the end, whether it's all digital or not, whether you're going to make these into black and white or you're going to make them into color, will allow you to create, make the correct decision on set that will give you the image that you want. So there's a one-to-one -one ratio on Lauren's face. You can tell because there's absolutely no shadow whatsoever. So there's a two-to-one ratio or there's only one stop difference between our highlight and our shadow. 
So there's a four to one ratio or two stops difference between our highlight or our key light side and our shadow side. So there's an eight to one ratio, which is three stops between the highlight or the key light side and the shadow side. So you're gonna need a meter now to be able to execute the lighting ratios that you have in your mind for the images you're going to take. That Illuminati light meter is really probably the best value I've seen out there for a light meter and a color meter. It's gonna help you in your lighting. It's gonna help you pre-visualize, help you make those decisions you need to on set. 